Hey everybody, welcome to Zorok Media. In this video, we're going to be playing Oxygen Not Included. I've played this game for maybe about 10 hours, and as you can see here, I've gotten to day 61. It's an amazing game, I really like it. I'm looking forward to the final release. But in today's video, I'm thinking we can start a new game. I think survival. Don't want it to be too easy for this. Leave everything default, I think. And we'll start. This is a surprisingly in-depth game with a great clay art style, really good mechanics, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Alright, let's see who we want to keep and who we might want to switch out. Narcoleptic, that's kind of inconvenient. He has really good stats otherwise, though. Allergies, not too big of a deal. Small bladder, not too big of a deal. Anything else interesting about these guys? Hmm. Viscerally reliving 10 different humiliating memories. Alright. Food benefit negative 1. Decor benefit negative 5. Stress reaction destructive. Both of these guys. That's kind of a, a big negative to me. Stress sometimes, at least in my last playthrough, got away from me a bit. So, I'm kind of inclined to actually shuffle both of these. Vomiter, I mean that sucks, but it's not that, not that bad. Negative three strength, though. I think that could actually. Well, I mean, I guess it depends on what they, what they need to be doing. Digging and strength. I, mean, I guess are are not like totally connected, but I feel like they are also being able to lift more after you've dug something. Tinkering. He's not a bad guy, though. You don't have to be too worried. I think these guys are overall pretty decent though. Name the colony. Let's go with Hmm, Deadly Boro Burrow. Maybe just You know what? That's fine. Deadly Burrow. I'm cool with it. Here we are. I've awoken with a starting crew of three duplicates, but the situation here is not as we expected. Resources are scarce and our pod is embedded miles beneath the plant's surface. I must help my duplicate survive before I investigate what went wrong. Okay, we don't really need any tutorials. As the name suggests, oxygen is not included along with any sort of convenience things. We have to make sure we build outhouses. We have to build everything. And, and, like We're left with this printing pod, which is going to give us either food or seeds or whatever, or more duplicates, depending on what we choose every, as you can see, two and a half cycles, which is a day, and then some basic food to get us started. So, I think it's great that we have this water, though it's strangely elongated. I'm not sure where it ends. It looks like maybe somewhere around here. But if we could also similar up here, it's funny. We're going to probably want to contain that somehow because the tool that allows us to collect water doesn't really favor this angle or this shape. So let's dig out right into here, I think, because this has a bunch of algae. Algae is very important for oxygen production. Let's go conservative. Let's go with that for now. And actually, let's not dig those guys up. Let's just dig the materials up. Let's, we're not going to be able to get that algae because we need to get up there. We'll, we'll, we'll set it up for later. We just need to make a couple of ladders to get up there. They're pretty cheap to make once you get some materials. Now, I don't want to tap into over here um, because chlorine obviously is not very good to breathe in and we don't really have a great way of dealing with that at the moment so let's just dig up until there and then I'm thinking I might ladder up to this copper at least eventually maybe not right this second oh they did actually reach some of that stuff that's good. They couldn't get all of it, but they got most of it. Sweet. 
Now, we need to get some... Luckily, they set us up with some good oxygen right from the get-go, so we, it's not a super high priority to get these guys set up yet. But we will want to, very soon, get this generator and a battery and wire connected. Maybe we could build some tiles right here. And then, I think this sandstone stuff is kind of in an inconvenient place. Or not the sandstone, the, um, the bluff briar. So yeah, let's just dig that stuff up anyway. I, I know I said I wasn't going to, but we can pre-plant pre it. It should give us some seeds. And then we can put it later on in, um, in a tile that goes in the ground. That will allow us to act as a farm. It will allow us to have a farm effectively. Dirt. We don't necessarily need dirt right this minute. What we do with just tidying that up. We could also do with expanding in this direction. Do something like that. We need to tap into this water relatively quickly. Water is uh, very important in most of the things, just like in real life, you can't really get that far without utilizing water. Fortunately, that is definitely very shallow. There's no other water in sight. This is even more shallow than this. Oh, here we go. This is pretty far down. We can easily dig. We could maybe even focus on our base being in this general location. So we can make like a ladder system going down this way and make several floors that will eventually end up in us utilizing this water. It could be a good idea. But going up this way also has the benefit of allowing us to get this copper. Let's just build a couple ladders. Actually, we don't need that one. And what is this? It's a vacuum. So it's going to take away some of our oxygen. But I think it's all right. Oops, not over there. We'll be able to make additional oxygen and machines to deal with the carbon dioxide that we're going to build up and everything else shortly. I just want to get our foot in the door, kind of expand a bit, see where we're at. Try to get down to that water soon too, but I want some of this copper so I can start making certain things. Let's get that. That too. Like coal too. Yeah, that's a that's a lot of coal actually. That's really nice. Unreachable dig. Well, they, they haven't built the ladder yet. Where do we want to put the outhouse? Because that is also going to be very important very soon. We could put that over here. I believe we can. Yeah, we can dig into this stuff. There are certain materials, uh, probably even over here. Doesn't seem like it, but there's certain materials that you need upgrades for, so you can't just immediately do everything. Let's actually just cancel that one. I think that's enough copper for a while, and th this way we can avoid tapping into this vacuum for no reason at the moment. Well, Hassan is very, very tired. Oh, he's a narcoleptic nap guy. It's funny. Could be a problem later, but yeah, we'll let him sleep for now. Get that copper while we're thinking about it. Oh, here's where the water ends. It's a decent amount of water, it's just very spread out. We could potentially have our guys get this fertile or oxalite out and then put a block here and block there and then like fill this in to where it's more of a proper pool that would be a good idea now let's get thinking about our outhouse where do we want to put it I want to put it somewhere 
somewhere that they're going to be close to, but I don't want to put it right in the middle because it, it creates germs and polluted dirt and messiness, as you'd expect from an outhouse. So we could maybe consider sticking it up here for now. You can always move it. One really helpful thing, now they're going to be asleep in a minute, but one helpful thing is if you don't want something at a particular place anymore, you can just deconstruct it and you don't lose any resources, you get everything back. Let's see how we did for our first day while well, we consumed and didn't create any calories, which is understandable, we didn't really have any means of creating food. Stress. Well, that's cool. They were very stressed to begin with, but they got rid of it right away, apparently. No germs. Always great. We completed... Um, or we have a net of 11 chores left. Worked for 33, 35% of the time. Idle time, 22% while we were trying to think of what we wanted to do. And we lost out on some oxygen. That's not too much. Because we only have three people right now. They'll get, they'll get on doing that outhouse. We can think about... Maybe digging all this out. Oh yeah, these guys. These guys are really cool. Because they just look interesting, kind of. And also they poop out coal. So these guys are good to have hanging around. Because later on, we're probably going to want to make machines that involve coal. And that will enable us to do it. It'll help us. See, like, just, just right now, it looks like... Oh, that's algae. It looked um, blacker than algae. I guess because of the nighttime. But yeah, they, they just drop it periodically as waste, and we'll gather it up for ourselves. Put a tile there. Let's put a tile, a set of tiles here. Let's have to wait until they finish. We could maybe put the ladder in the middle, and then have rooms going out this way and this way, and then another room like this way, this way. And then eventually leading to our water supply here, and then there, we'll, we'll have access to here from this point. Probably make maybe ladders, and then um, a pitcher pump, which is right here. While we also funnel this back into the main pool. So that's our immediate goals, I think. At least in terms of water. We also need to think about oxygen, but it's still pretty good. I saw him holding his breath. It, it looks like right down here. He's a little thin on... A little thin on oxygen. But they, like the levels are fine. They should be they should be good for a while. It, yeah, it's spotty over here, but as long as they don't hang out there for too long, it'll be alright. And that's barely breathable in there. Once we top tap into that. Funnily enough though, it's very breathable right here. Go figure. So let's just dig down. We'll make our ladder right here. And I want to make the room, the next room, three high. I mean, the ladder can go, I guess, however far. So they can get on creating that. Actually, I'll put a ladder at the ground level, too. And then put a tile there. And then as they dig down this way, we can expand out that way. Just got to give them a few minutes to, to do their thing. Oh, it is um, hard digging after all. Okay. Let's just move that over to plumbing. Ideally, so we don't take out any any of the plant material here. Mm, we could potentially put it up there. It's slightly more out of the way. Yeah, let's just do that. Break all that stuff. Oh, somebody made a mess. Somebody peed themselves. Oh, yeah, I see the liquid <laughs> gathered up there. Yeah, they do that. Unfortunately, the even with an outhouse, they occasionally do that. Oh, they another guy made a mess. Well, hurry up and dig this so I can plant that, place that outhouse. There we go. Now they'll get on that. Geez, everybody's making a mess. <laughs> boy, oh boy, he's like in the middle of doing it and making a mess. It's alright, buddy. Here, let's make this a high priority. 
get that done quickly so that they don't keep making messes. Now the problem with polluted water is it creates germs and it also gives off polluted oxygen. And it can be a, a big deal if you don't have a way to process it. We don't have a way to process it right this second. Uh, well, we, I mean, we do, but we don't have the time, per se, to deal with it. So we'll have to wait for a little bit later. In the meantime, these guys are finishing. That outhouse is built, so that's perfect. Everyone can take care of that. Let's, um, let's mop up this stuff so it's a little bit less messy to walk through and stuff. Okay, we don't need any of these tutorials. Nope, we don't need it. Yeah, I know we need a food source. Yeah, it's um, it's gonna happen pretty soon. I'm I'm thinking we can put down the see see you want you want the um, you want the food processors close to water. So I'm thinking to tap into this one actually we could maybe have kind of a a platform that'll go out to here at this level and then put the food area here so that they can just immediately get the water they don't have to travel very far so let's get on that right now let's just remove all of this stuff let's replace these tiles or these um what is it uh, sandstone with tile it increases their ground speed, they walk a little faster, but also it just looks nicer. A little more together or sophisticated. Alright, so while they're doing that, we could also consider getting rid of this. Not that they can reach it right this second, but when we build out this little platform, we can do that. And this platform, this access here will also enable us to get into this and deal with that. So we'll have the, the floor actually go right here. I typically like the, the places to be about three high, three tiles high. Most, most things are about three tiles high. Though saying that, I want to double check. Yeah, this is three tiles high. This guy is four tiles high, but it's kind of unusual. So we get that, we get these a few tiles over over this water source so that we can then put the pitcher pump right there that would be good we could actually uh, just prep that to be built right now then we need to get rid of this stick that right there you could even, I mean you could put it wherever but I, it makes sense to put it kind of equal with the the walking area. Now, unfortunately, there's like n no oxygen here. So as soon as they're done, which is hopefully soon, we will, um, or maybe in, even in the midst, we will put a manual generator. I'm not super sure where I want to put it. Probably right here. And then we'll have a battery. And then a wire connecting those two. Okay. And then we'll have a carbon, or we'll have a uh, oxygen diffuser here eventually. We don't need one right this second, but we definitely need one right here. Like right this second, basically. Once they build that, we'll put the, we'll put the, the food processor. I'm thinking this whole area is going to be kind of devoted to that. They're going to use water in other locations. Uh, we could even consider putting like a ladder that goes up here so they can get over there faster. But this whole area is, is mostly going to be focused on food production. So we want to get that. We can run a wire right here down there. Once they eventually finish up with this stuff. They're a little slower because they're kind of suffocating. So once this gets built, they'll be able to stabilize themselves and work a bit more efficiently. But I think that will end it for this episode. 
I hope that you enjoyed what you saw. We're, uh, we're getting the, the, the outline of our base figured out. We're moving right along, and we'll make more progress in the next video. Thanks for watching.